Hi, welcome to TLC's Creative Art Corner. I'm Miss Susan and we have a new project this week. Now before we begin, I want to show you some things I did during the week because I had so much fun with dyeing the rice and dyeing the pasta that I made two more projects. I did my initial on a bag, which I really, really enjoyed doing. And as you can see, here's the S. And I didn't wanted to do it with a rainbow background. So I um, did that, but it got a little bit lost in the color down here with the colors I chose. So I have rice and some pastas here for the different colors. But I just love it. I think it's really a fun thing. And I'd like to see some of you people do some of these things as well. So be sure to send them in. I also did a stained glass. I thought this really lent itself well to making st stained glass. And the colors are so vibrant. So I um, did little pastas here, and I just did abstract lines wherever I wanted, any way I wanted, and then I put the colors wherever I wanted. And I really thought it was really, really a nice, bright thing to have on the wall. Looks, looks like a stained glass, doesn't it? Okay, now let's talk about what we're going to do this week. This week we're going to paint like the master Henry Matisse. We're going to paint with scissors. And this is what we're going to try to do, a collage of different shapes and stuff. Now let me tell you about um, Henry Matisse. He's a French impressionistic painter. He was abstract, obviously. <laughs> this is quite abstract. Known for very strong colors, flattened forms, and decorative patterns that have this Mediterranean influence. And let me show you some examples. One of them is Friday Art Cat. And uh, you see here that the perspective is a little off, but the colors are very, very bright, vibrant, and the cat is having a lot of fun playing with the fish. And the other one is purple robe and anemones. It's a type of flower. It's very difficult to say. And uh, you can see all the bright colors, bold patterns, and this sort of a flattened perspective on the woman. Anyway, it's very, very fun and, and bright. But later in his life, he had ill health and was bedridden, and so he began to paint with scissors because he couldn't paint the way he liked to paint. So he was cutting out organic shapes and gluing them down. So he started with small pictures and they went to wall size murals, just whole, just whew, the whole wall. And most famous probably is the sheaf. And here you can see it's actually supposed to be a sheaf is wheat bundles, like a hay bale or something. So anyway, you can see the bold colors and the organic shapes here. Another example is the blue window, and you can really see the Mediterranean influence of the windows in the, in the Middle East and the Mediterranean area in the bold colors again. And he used negative and positive spaces, what he cuts out and what's left over. And the last one I want to show you is the snail. And you can see it's very abstract. And if you really look, you can really tell it is a snail, but you have to look at it for, for a little bit. And he, so he uses a lot of bold colors and patterns. And basically, he was the father of collage. Let's talk about the materials we'll need for today. First, we always want to protect our surface. Okay, and an apron is optional for this particular activity, but it's always a good habit to get into. So always put an apron, I, I suggest. We're going to need scissors. And then you need some sort of base to put your collage on. So you could use some kind of foam board, poster board, or even this watercolor paper is a good, good weight to use. And so I'm going to do one on this today to show you. You're going to need multicolored construction paper. So this is an option. Okay, and then there's also this one, it's some kind of a shiny mylar, and you could cut them out and then uh, instead of using glue, you can pull it off and stick it on. So that's another option. So there's different kinds of these. Now if you didn't have construction paper of different colors, you could take Xerox paper, copy paper, color them with crayon or whatever and, and use that. It would be just as great, okay? Also we will need some, some, some sort of glue. You can use white glue. Um, I think the, the glue sticks are the best for this, but whatever you have is the best. So you use what you have. So white glue or the sticks or you know whatever. Now it's optional to use templates. You can look up on the computer Matisse stencils or Matisse templates. And here are some examples. You have some free form designs. Here's one kind of organic looking thing. Okay, or you could have, um, you could print two out on one page. And then you have these other sort of leafy looking things or whatever you want to think they are. Here's some birds. He used a lot of these birds. And then here's a page that has a lot of different ones. You could crop them and make them blow them up a little bit so you can see a different organics. But just looking at it, you can do them free form yourself. So you don't need to go online, but that's just an option. And then you would cut these out and then draw around them. 
and I'll show you that a little bit later. So you can t push pause now, go get your materials and come on back and meet me here and we'll do the project together. So here's a sample that I did and if you really look closely at it, what do you think you see? Well, I'll tell you. It's a turtle. I like to think it's a turtle. Okay, so here's the head, some the feet, the body, the shell, and the different shapes, and then some water down here and a little bit of tail. So anyway, that was really fun to do. So now we're going to do another one together. Okay, let me put that aside. Now here I already have some cut out templates that I've made from doing this project many, many times. So I have all my little templates can see up here and I've already traced some this I just did free form I just did like a water wave or something okay and then here I'm going to trace uh, this particular shape because I like this shape and, and then we cut them out we just trace all the shapes we want Oops. and then we cut them out okay so I'll just quickly cut out one and you know the process is the same all the way around so this was like a flower you know, and you know, again, you don't really need to use a template. You can just cut out and freeform it. You know, that's certainly what he did. And if he can do it, it's you know, you can too. All right. So I've already cut out some pieces and I'm going to lay them down. Now I want to show you the negative positive space. Um, this one, for example, this is from an old one I've done. This would be the negative space and this is the positive space, the, the subject content, the subject matter, like this would be the positive and then the background pieces were this piece. So you just put, you know, overlap and overlap and here's another one, the negative space. So um, Matisse did a lot of this sort of thing using the positive and negative and he might even uh, put that there and then put this one here or flip it over you know so yeah lots of things so then you would start to glue down okay. and you just take the glue stick which is the easiest to use Okay, so I would just keep cutting out and cutting out and cutting out. And here's this negative space I have from before. So I'm going to just go ahead and use it. Okay. And then you just, that's the process, on and on and on. Okay, there you have it. All right, so you just stick to your heart's content and you decide when you're done because you are the artist. So here's what I did, and when I was done, I signed it in the lower uh, left-hand corner. I always forget left and right. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed painting like the master, Henry Matisse. So please, send in your masterpiece to me, Susan Daniels, at M-A-E-B-E-A-T at yahoo.com or to administrator at tlckuwait.com. So send your suggestions and your comments as well. So until then, be blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.